Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So today what I'm going to do, I will talk about uh, volume based discount. So if you've been following along, right, um, so you might have remember that I've talked about a terms based discount and I did mention, right, CPQ does offer um, volume based discount, uh, which is like an out of box functionality. Um, now, what is a volume based discount, right? I just want to give you a very simple example. It's, I mean, you guys know about this stuff right because you guys deal with it in in your day-to-day -day life uh just to, let me give you a very classic example right in new zealand right uh we have something called cream cheese i mean obviously you might be getting cream cheese in your own country as well so here uh for 250 grams of a cream cheese you pay like four uh, sorry four dollars um sometimes supermarkets want you to buy in bulk so what they do hey if you're going to buy more than three products, you will get it for 10 bucks instead of 12 bucks. So you, so for a consumer, right, for a customer, you know, it's like a $2 uh, save, uh, you know. So uh, if you are, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're someone who is uh, passionate about cream cheese, use cream cheese, <clears throat> if you're making your meatballs or um, your um, lasagna or, or, you know, whatever, right, even as a spread, Right, like I'm a big fan of cream cheese, right? I use it, you know, uh, all the time. So for me, that bargain is pretty good, right? So similarly, right, you might get uh, something else, right? You go and buy, say, McDonald's uh, sweet and sour sauce, say, for if you buy more than 10, you will get like two extra, right? So something similar, right? So volume based discount, or if you buy, say, 10 sweet and sour sauce, say, um, for five bucks, Sorry, eat, if, if the each sweet and sour sauce is like 50 cents, right? So if you buy, say, 10 of them, right? Um, so you will, instead of paying uh, $5, you pay $3. So, yeah, again, a $2 off. So <clears throat> we're going to configure that um, in CPQ today. It's pretty simple. A uh, few clicks. You don't have to worry about the fancy, complex steps, right? So the first thing first, uh, you should have an org, right? I trust you guys have an org because, you know, we have almost reached halfway through the certification course and i do expect you will have an org to practice if not i i tell you guys this is the right time right just get your hands dirty okay um so what i'll do we go to something called discount schedules so <clears throat> in this case if you if you look at my screen right you can see discount schedules here but if for whatever reason you can't see it so you go to the tic tac talk icon uh type discount schedules right and we'll take you here. So we're going to create new. Um, keep some meaningful name, right? I will say discount options. Uh, give a meaningful name, uh, which makes sense. Okay. Now, we don't want to fill much stuff here, right? As you've seen that I haven't filled much. So whatever I've done, it's pretty cool at this stage. So if you notice, we have something called edit tiers on the right and side of the screen so you go here yeah um, I'll say three quantity and above or would say three items and above right whichever uh, lower bound I wanted to give discounts uh, for anything about three and upper bound 10 so let's say customer buys uh, between three and ten uh, you will get a 10% discount Right, and if you buy, um, say uh, ten and above, um, you will get, um, say, fifteen percent discount. Yeah, makes sense, right? Okay, now that's done. Now, obviously, creating a discount schedule is not good enough, right? Because you have to hook that up to your product. Otherwise, how will the product know which discount schedule to use, right? So you go to product. Uh, you can pick and choose any product. Right, we're not talking about subscription-based product at this stage, right? A simple product. Okay, so um, you go to tablet. This, all right. So I'm gonna do edit, yeah, and I'll look for um, something called discount. And there's something called discount schedule, right? So you search here and link that uh, the discount schedule record here. Click on save. Now, what I'll do, I'll go to code, right? 
Um, I'll pick and choose any code, doesn't matter, right? I've talked about it zillions of times how to create a code, so I'm not going to cover that at this stage, right? Um, so I'll go to edit lines. Right, now uh, we'll go to add products. Um, I'll type 10, right? Uh, the 10 um, inch tablet. And I'll select this and select, okay? Now, by default, it will put you, uh, so it will include this um, product with the quantity uh, value as one, okay? Now, at this stage, discount won't be uh, coming into play because we mentioned in our discount schedule, right, if you select a product um, whose quantity is three and above, then you will get a discount options, right? So you will get 10% discount. So what I'll do, I will choose four. Oh, sorry, not this one. Uh, I'll choose four. Um, so, okay, how this, this will work. So four times 150, so that's 600 bucks, and then you're getting a 10% discount. So that's 60 off. So that, will, that means you will get something around 540, right? Okay, so let's calculate. Okay, so 540. All right, now, if you remember, uh, if you go to this discount schedule, right? <clears throat> um, so, all right, sorry, my bad, <clears throat> my bad. I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, so I'll do this again. Um, Right, okay. Um, right, so. All right, so we were at four, right? And um, I applied discount, so something like this, right? So, oh, sorry, what the heck? And calculate. All right, so if you remember, I've created like a two tiers, right? One is three to 10, you get 10% uh, discount, then 10 to 20, about 10 and up to 20, you will get like 15% discount, right? So I'm gonna put uh, 11 here. Now, okay, let me show how it works. So let's use a calculator, right? Sorry, my apologies. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I consider myself pretty good in mathematics, but you know, I can't remember big numbers, so I'm not that genius, right? So yeah, pretty average guy. But anyways, uh, 11 times, right, we got um, 150, <clears throat> right, so 1650. Now, we got 15% discount, so we got 15, all right, so I'm just going to do divide by <clears throat> 100, and I'll do subtract 1650. So something like you will get 1402, something close by, right, let's see. Um so I will do calculate. Right, one four zero two five zero. Right, so one four zero two five zero. So that's how it works, right? So as you can see, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use, right? And discounts, right? It's 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 a pretty daily thing, right? I mean, you have experienced it in your life. You don't have to know CPQ to understand discount, right? So most of the things you have experienced in your real life. So that's pretty much I try to imitate, right? It's pretty simple. So that's all I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I wish you guys have a great uh, weekend. Adios.